Ian, we have a Patreon, don't we? We do. Patreon.com slash CU podcast. You go. Uh, we do. I do. You do? Uh, I do. Uh, uh, almost weekly writing. Uh, we do. Uh, you get the full video podcast. You get access to the bonus bits that we do before we record the main podcast. We do hangouts once a month, and you get to vote in these poll topics. And we have the enamel pin club. One of the tiers, you get a nice free enamel pin mailed to you. Um, so this is our poll topics. In second place, this is, this is close split. 44% is grading or reselling worse for video game collecting. And then first place, 56%. The top Super Nintendo games, according to a list curated by journalist Seth Abramson, who's done before for the NES, we've done these, and these are pretty pretty detailed lists because because uh, Seth, um, in the methodology, combines lots of different sources, uh, both print and online, including a certain Super Nintendo guidebook. You use the NES book, uh, Ultimate Nintendo, for the for the NES list. So he's trying to like come up with a system in order to get a consensus here, which is nice. It's a, probably a lot of work. Yeah, um, a lot of work. So, and, and this is the top 100. We're not going to do the top 100. We'll do like top 25 here. There's tons of honorable mentions. This is off his website, his retrostack.substack.com. It's a uh, it's a it's a membership. If you, uh, but looks like a lot of work went into this. So we'll start at number 25. We're going to start at one. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> 25. Um, Tetris Attack, also known as uh, Panel de Pone, um, is a uh, it's definitely a, a, a great freaking game. Um, you know, not tetris at all, but, you know, Tetris got thrown around a lot in the 90s trying to get people to, you know, buy stuff with the name Tetris. And it's that classic, you know, you switch the two panels as everything rises and sure. it creates chain reactions. And it's a lot of fun watching people who are really good at that game is a trip. Uh, tw- and Tyver 25, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, surprise that made it that high, but okay. Um, Obviously, it's it's an it's an earlier title. People love it. It's hard as balls, but it's obviously super fun and polished. Who doesn't yeah. love little Arthur and his heart uh, boxers? Super Punch Out at twenty four. It's it's a good game, and I, I mean a lot of people you know remember it. It's usually one of the top ten games I would get asked for about on the Super Nintendo at Luna. Um, I never put the time into it like I did the um nes one and while i like the punch out games as an adult you realize it really is just a just a i don't know they're they're, they're more like puzzle games to me than anything else i'm just surprised to see it that high. i know it was a fairly popular game but i'm surprised to see it that high uh kirby superstar at 22 great game not surprised to see that on here at all uh also tied for 22 is donkey kong country 2 diddy kong's quest i'm actually surprised that's not a little bit higher Sure. Um, because that's 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 generally considered the best in a series that, while I don't necessarily love it, um, lots and lots of people love it. So, the next is Super Mario All Stars at nineteen. This is an interesting one because it's a compilation, so it's always hard, at least to to grade something like that. I forgot how I graded it exactly. It's just like what what is being offered between all the games because you're not like, like reviewing the individual games at that point because there's what four different games right, right on here so it's kind of tough to do that but you do get uh the first western release of the re- the real super mario brothers uh two um and obviously you have upgraded graphics to the other games and the engine i believe was slightly different in the original super mario Brothers. they might be the same on the other two but i forget but okay um number 19 street fighter to turbo hyper fighting in Final Fantasy 2. So Super Mario All-Stars, Final Fantasy 2, and Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting. We're all tied for 19. Um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting. I agree. I think that's my favorite version of it on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I gave it five uh, stars. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a brilliant game. Um, just uh, the right size, the right roster of characters, the right balance at the time, the right speed. They rebalance uh, the characters. Um, yeah, turbo. Turbo is just uh, a turbo or dash. Is it? Um, that's that's what it's called on the uh, PC engine. Um, just a, a a beautiful, beautiful like tightening of a of a game concept. I I can't say enough good about that one. And then Final and then Fantasy, Fantasy two. two, huge, obviously big, big, big. Big, big. Other comments uh, on that? Were you a big fan of that one when it came out? Uh, no, I just you know it was kind of. 
I think for a lot of people, it's the first story deep RPG they probably remember playing if they played in the U.S. It was an early release for the Super Nintendo, um, a big, big jump up for uh, from the first one to, um, you know, the second one, because technically we missed two entries in between, uh, you know, just a, a big moment, I think, for U.S. RPGs. Act Rays are getting love at 18. I gave it five stars. I'm not ashamed of, of reviewing it as a five star game. It's it's a beautiful, gorgeous game uh, all around. Uh, it's almost like it's almost like the gameplay is like the weakest part of the game, but it's somehow it's still so beloved, which was like a, almost like a miracle uh, when you, when you look at a game like that. Um, right. Uh, 17 Contra three. Sure. I actually don't know a whole lot about that one. Um, I didn't really play it recently until I, I didn't play it until recently when I got the Contra collection. Uh, I like hardcore a lot more. Um, it's not a bad game, but I like the original really like hardcore. It's obviously really good. It's super tough. Yeah. I did. I review that one for the I might have reviewed it. I believe at least gave it four, if not four and a half. I don't think I gave it five if I reviewed it. Uh, Turtles in Time, obviously. Uh, fantastic sure. port uh, it's at 16 beautiful like like you can you, you make the case that it's probably you can say that for a 16-bit console the best beat em up you can make that case um mega man x at 15 i love mega man no i don't i don't i don't anything about mega man x uh i don't know if two or three is better than that but two or three did not make this list uh no i love three. x i love the first x i don't like two and three is really not great um, um in my opinion castlevania 4 making 14 is I, I don't want to say shocking, but this leads me to believe that when I see lists like this, that you you have a lot of people writing these for these websites that don't know per particularly maybe the breadth of the entire library. When you start to see all these popular titles getting these high spots, that I'm not saying it's not a bad game, Supercasting 4. I'm just shocked to see it this high. Um, but, so but that makes that number 14. This one doesn't shock me, uh, just based on how like how people talk about it, how many people used to ask for it at Luna. Uh, it's not my favorite, but, but popularity um, doesn't mean it's it's fourteen out of you know seven hundred and fifty games. That's no, my point. No, but yeah. I mean, as a person who doesn't like Super Castlevania Four very much, I, I get why it could be so high. Um, I, I preferred something like uh, Bloodlines, which had I think uh, a little more teeth to it. I, I feel like Super Castlevania Four sounds and plays kind of sanitary it's hard to describe sure. but to me it's just it's very indicative of like early super nintendo it's kind of cleaned up it doesn't feel as much like castlevania as i would want it to let me I say guess. let me tell you why when i see these lists like i'll just give you an example of what's on the, not on this list that should be on this list there's none of this the super star wars games are on this list for example um you don't see something like mortal kombat 2 which is like an outstanding port i'm not saying it would have made the list but i would not be shocked it just missed it at 28 actually on here um, you don't mm. you, you don't see uh, games like SimCity on here. Uh, you don't see a game like Sunset Riders on here, and that's not even like a deep, deep cut Sunset Riders. You don't see UN Squadron on here, and that's an outstanding game. UN you Squadron's know. on here, uh, but far further far, down. I mean, for the top twenty-five, sure. uh, you don't see uh, Tecmo Super Bowl any of them on here. Uh, for example, uh, you can make the argument that Tecmo Super Bowl, uh, the first one, is regards one of the best sports games ever. So that's what I mean when you see some of these lists, you'd be like, okay, who was making these lists? Did they play a lot of these games or did they just play the popular ones? And that's when I see stuff that high, I'm like, okay, maybe that's the case. But okay, I'm throwing a little shade. Uh, Super Mario RPG at number 12. Sure. Sure. That's all. <laughs> I enjoyed the game. I played it probably more when it came out, honestly, at my cousins and watching them play. Uh, the cousins who had everything, and I liked it. And uh, that's, that's, it's, that's, that's a high mark, but okay. Uh, F0 at number 12. Uh, this would not, this would, uh, 12 is high. Uh, I love F-Zero, but this to me is a better example than any of the yes. ones you already mentioned. Uh, I think F-Zero at 12 is insane and is, like I said, it's a very good game. It's very good. It's, it's not, but it's it's, it's very not a five singular star. in its focus. It's not like particularly, there's not a ton going on. It, it, it's, well, no. just, it, it's, okay. it's a weird game for 12. There's a lot going on. There's a lot. It's extremely polished. The mode, the mode, uh, Mode seven is amazing. The, the, I just uh, mean in terms of like options and modes yes. and stuff like there's that. No there's no two player lot. mode. No. And I, I gave it four and a half stars. If there was a two player mode, instant five star classic. There's no two player mode. Um, and otherwise, it's a it's a good game. Um, no Mario Kart on uh, uh, on here. Oh no, I'm sorry, there is. Sorry, I ruined it. I thought there wasn't. I glanced it. Um, Star Fox at eleven again. Uh, too high for me, but I understand why. It's like the F Zero thing where it's popular. Very good game. I would not have put it that high, but obviously it's beloved. 
Um, Secret of Mana number nine. I don't know anything about Secret of Mana. I don't know anything. It's good, about. good Zelda clone. Tie with that is Earthbound. I sure. Nine. People love Earthbound. Cult hit. The, the definition of a cult hit. Uh, number eight, Super Mario World Two, Yoshi's uh, Island. I'm glad it's getting the love that it is because people don't usually bring it up too often. I unfortunately do not have the experience to talk about this as much as the obviously the first one, but you probably agree that's pretty 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 good for that. Yeah. Um, this is another instance where I think just how these lists are made gets, yes. gets kind of in the way. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. I used to hate the game. I've really learned to enjoy Donkey Kong Country over the past few years. Vani likes it. I like playing it with her. But uh, there's no reason the first one should be higher than the second one, which basically took the concept of the first game and, and, and tightened it Correct. up considerably. That, again, goes to the argument that people are more familiar with the game, so they're going to rate it higher on their list. Like that's, right. that's, that's a huge flaw to me. That was not the highest reviewed one in the book, in, in my book. No, um, two, 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 by all means, yeah. is, a, 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 is a much better game. Super Mario Kart number five. I think love it's, it. I, I, I love it. This could be slightly high for me, but a top 10, I'd put it in our top 15. Um, there, there's some issues with it, but it, just the fact that it was such a groundbreaking game, uh, it goes that high. And the other Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 3 is number five. This well. one, I, I, I mean, I, I love Final Fantasy 3. Uh, this deserves every bit of its spot. Uh, the next, all, like these next games are all five stars in a certain uh, uh, guidebook. So it makes, I mean, so I, I don't have complaints about where these are placed. Um, no, neither do I. Not all these are five star in the top 25. There's there's a lot that are either, I think, four and a half stars or four. Uh, but okay. Uh, Super Mario World at number three, tied with Chrono Trigger. Yeah, um, I mean, great game. You can put it higher. Uh, 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 it's hard on, to put any, it on any given day, it's my favorite Mario. It's To me, it's the best platformer ever made. Um, it's per, It's a perfect game. I could, yeah, I, I, I mean, I have no complaints. I, I, I wrote the review, I gloat about it in the review. Uh, obviously chrono trigger um it's my favorite rpg not that i'm a huge rpg guy but it's uh you know it, it, there's a lot going on in that game with the with the real time sort of battle stuff with the, with all different characters there's branching story paths all different endings you know like yeah it's beloved i didn't review that one i i, I honestly should go back and replay i haven't played it in 20 years i should back play it uh and then number two uh, legend of zelda link to the past beloved makes sense you, once you get to this top f uh, three or four or five, you can basically swap things around and no one's going to complain yep. too much. Uh, uh, but number one, I was surprised to see number one sneak it out by one point. One vote, and, basically. And it's uh, Super Metroid. Um, as time goes on, I and mean, I, I, I noticed it at Luna, um, the game just gets more and more beloved as time goes on. Uh, I feel like it was a game that, you know, at its at the time was not talked about nearly as much as it probably should have been. Not like, to say it was unpopular. Probably because was, the franchise you know, was as popular as it is now. Right. That's probably, but yeah. especially now looking back on it, I think this is a pretty good point in time. This makes sense to me as a point in time where Super Metroid would get voted into the number one spot. Okay. And it is. It's a it's a fantastic fucking game. Uh, so yeah. So that's the list. Um it's like I said it's a pretty good list. I don't agree with some of these, I think some are way too high. I think you could swap out some of these fairly easily with other games. Like, and, and the placement is definitely wacky as hell. Uh, I would not argue with any of them like uh, too hard, but there's definitely ones that, yeah, I, I think make less sense. I would not have Super Ghouls and Ghosts in my top 25. There's too, the, the, there's way too many sure. great games on the Super Nintendo, especially when you don't have sports games on here at all. Like, you, you got to have two sports games on this list, in my right. opinion. That's the thing. Like the, the fact that sports games get so, so there's Shit such on. a lack of respect for good sports games that these journalists or websites do. I don't understand it. This bias. I don't get it. Um, I think it, the problem really comes down to uh, landing on just one. Sure. No, I get it. But like, no, no, no Tecmo Super Bowl game at all is so weird to me. Yeah, that's uh, very weird. Um, if you want, if you don't want to do an NHL game because you think the ports aren't as good as the Genesis, I get it. But on its surface, one of those NHL games is like a four and a half star game. You know, just yeah. just just by default, they're excellent games. Uh, NBA Hang Time is a five star game in my opinion. I, I, I that's one I probably should have pointed out. Where the hell is NBA Hang Time? NBA Hang Time's at one forty one. Come on, man. Yeah, that game's incredible. That game's incredible. As an art, it's it's close to the arcade game. 
at the time. That's what I mean. Like, that's what I mean. Like, th- some of these reviewers, not to throw shade, they don't have the experience of, of knowing a lot of these games. That's the problem. And some of them are super high. Like, like, uh, like Doom, the fact that they ported Doom decently is amazing. It's not a top 100 game to me. It's, it's a decent, competent port of Doom. I, I wouldn't put it like 91. That's just me. There's way too many other games out there that you could, whatever. I, I did yeah. a review about it. You know what I mean? That's all. 